Welcome to Shinjuku Joshi Babel, episode 7? Yeah, episode 7. It's been a crazy, crazy week last week. You know something gonna get crazy? Kim Jordan makes way down the ring. A name that not many may know, but if you've seen her in action before, we know that she's a veteran in this ring and she's done a lot. Hasn't captured big gold in her lifetime, but would love to. Former tag team champion. For mid-card time champion as well. But that's all I can really say about Kim Jordan. Kim Jordan brings a lot of energy to this ring. And her wrestling speaks for itself. If she can slap that Kimura lock on, this one could be over before it even started. Or if you get that big boot, it could be damn near over before it started. Question is, question is can she land it tonight? We'll find out by the end of this one. Maybe this is some trouble with her action. Making her way down to the ring up next is Jazzy Moore. Jazzy Moore, we seen her, what, a couple weeks ago? Sorry, not a couple weeks ago, about, yeah, about a couple weeks ago, even. If you're putting the timeline together, I'd say just about a couple weeks ago. Sorry, three weeks ago, to be more exact. And uh, Jazzy Moore got an amazing victory over Lady, Sp Lady Spice, and Lady Spice is very green in the ring. As, it, uh, as long as he's been here, still. Has her moments of uh, slip ups and such. And Jazzy Moore took advantage of set opportunities and got herself a big time victory. Question is can she go to her tonight when she has to worry about two other ladies in the ring? Experience or not? Because another experienced lady here. Nadia Door. And Nadia Door is great. She can slap on that submission hold on quickly. That sharpshooter is no joke. If she can't take it with that, that discus clothesline will do just as much damage. The question is, can she do it? With two of the ladies in the way, a big time victory will be guaranteed for one of these ladies here by the end of it. It will definitely help them propel themselves to some Shinjuku Joshi Babel gold. Let's see what these ladies can do. Kim Jordan, Jazzy Moore, and Natty Adore. Let's get this thing going. Triple threat action, start this one off. Shinjuku Joshi Babel. I said episode 7 here. We saw last week some crazy mishaps in the world of. Um, female wrestling, especially here in uh, Shinjuku. Look at this. Powers. Running power slam already. This match has started. Going in. Oh, catches on those ropes. That's Kim Jordan's speed there. Using it to her advantage. Oh, clothesline takes down. Kim Jordan for the moment. Drop kick right there. If you're not here, do you want to watch out? Setting up for something big here. Look at this. Oh, that's the strength of that. For that back break, we saw that. Oh, was well, a lady lay it down. Missed that. Both girls missing their shots. Both the girls missing their shots here. Until that swing and that breaker landed. Kim Jordan now. On the offense. Now you adore those are off the ropes for that arch. Oh, back elbow there. She spins into that. That was pretty beautiful. Now you adore needs to keep the momentum going her way now. For figure out what's next for her. We saw last week the debut of Trish. Saw great one-on-one -on -one action between her and Queen Kong. Oh, trying to get a quick one here. Hold on. One, two. Oh, how close was that? How close was that? How close was that? Oh, punch right to the midst. Did you see? Did you hear that? She hit her right in the gut. Now set up for a swing. And, oh, I thought she was going for another swing and neck breaker. Jazzy Moore in trouble here. Kim Jordan moving on. Oh. From one opponent to another, quick as hell, almost teleporting. That's the teleporting speed. Kim Jordan. Oh, something around the neck. No. Oh. Heard rumors of Kim Jordan's daughter wanting to make her way down to the Shinjuku Joshi Babel arena. I'd love to wrestle with her mother. I could definitely see it happening. We 
my gosh, wrecking the eyes there. Oh my gosh, these punches. Jazzy Moore trying to hold off two women. I don't know if that's going to happen. Either way, she's going to try her darndest. Oh, get caught with a jawbreaker there. Sets up. Oh, suplex. Beautiful. And you see her legs smashing off those, uh, smashing off the uh, exposed barricade here. Other matches like Dan Santana versus Akashi. So a weird way to get a win here in the world of wrestling. Oh, using that poison mist last week. Oh, release Tiger Suplex. And we use that poison mist to kind of chloroform, in a way, Dennis Santana. This Bulldog beautifully done by Nadia Door. Shoulder block taking her down there. No disqualification in this match. No counts. Only way to win this thing is by pinfall submission. Another way to go. Still shots are laying in. Oh gosh. Another one there. A third one there. Those are for something big. Nadia Door using that slight size of she has. Drop kick to the back. Look at this. Head scissors take down there. Now set down for an arm bar. Locking that cross arm breaker style. Not getting all of it. But it's more, more than enough to keep Jazzy more down for the moment. Gosh. And oh! My goodness, just punching right in the face. Form shot there. Sets up for something big. Question is, what is it gonna be? Look at this. Oh! We certainly do that a while. We certainly do that a while back. We certainly do it a while back. Could be it. No, saves it. This belly to back. No, takes it into a bulldog there. Seen a lot of bulldogs tonight from Nadia Door. Let's keep she can keep things going. Nadia Door has plans for Jazzy. Discus clothesline. Just may have taken off her game here. Sets up butterfly. Suplex beautifully done. If Nadia wants to win this thing, she's gonna go for that pin now. Try to pull it to the middle of the ring. Give her too much time to recover. Jazzy Moore may be able to kick out this thing. One, two. No, throws that shoulder up. This Jazzy Moore at the last moment there. That was damn near quickness on her on her part, and also getting into the mind of Natty, saying, "Oh, I got this, I got this," and have, have, giving giving the time to pull into middle of the ring and everything just to kick out. But knows better, knows damn better, not to stay down for too long. Give Natty door too much overconfidence. That overconfidence can really turn into a, a negative there for Jazzy for Jazzy Moore or Kim Jordan. Oh, it hits her right in the. Hit her, hit her in the spine there. Headbutt there from Kim Jordan. Kim Jordan lays her out with that one. The hard head of Kim Jordan maybe just laid out, laid her out here. Permanently, Nadia Door just is damn near out of it. And so is Jazzy. One, two, no. Lands right on her. Oh, shot right there. Quick roll up here. Quick roll up could do it. Referee, come on, man. You're trying to get in position. I know. I understand, but come on. Two. No. Throws that shoulder up. Catches that leg. Switches it around. Oh. Now it's now these two. Crucifix pin here. Kim Jordan may be out of this thing. One. One counts all you got. Nadia Door needs to keep on going. Needs to keep the momentum going her way. Sets up. Dragon screw. Saw the same thing happen to Jazzy Moore. Jazzy Moore on the outside trying to get us up back in. Addy throws that shoulder up at one just about. Also saw Jade make her debut here to Shinjuku Yoshibel against the ever-killing future legend being Melissa Cardinal. Dove! Realizing the opportunity that's in front of her here. Oh! Tries to go for something. Got cut off. Snap suplex there. King Jordan trying to quick, get a quick one. Could it be it? One. No. Those that show up again at one. Too much time to recover. Natty now. Takes her up with a butterfly. Suplex once again. King Jordan rolls out. Gets the other way at that. Jazzy Moore. Whoa. Saves herself for the moment. I would assume. Oh, but not enough. 
Mitch Noku driver there from Yaddy. One, two. No, throws that shoulder up at two. This match is insane. So I come and she did. Oh, kick to the leg there. You see that. Jazzy Moore, she got a little confused there. What's going on? It's hard to, it's hard to stay in the, it's hard to stay focused in the match like this. Especially when you have so many people coming. From every different angle, back elbow there, jeez. And it's only two ladies to worry about, but still. Oh, cuts her off. Short on clothesline. Oh, back elbow there. Sets up, Fisherman. She got all of it, right in the middle of the ring. Come on, ref. Come on, ref. One, two, makes the save. Oh, rolls on that neck. And she just tried to take it. And she may just may have it. One, two. Those that show up, that's Kim Jordan at two. Then you start on the main event. Matani taking it on. Lena Zada. Lena Zada's at a, a new spree of doom as of late. It would seem that way. Lena Zada not in action tonight. But either way, when she is in action, best believe, best believe her manager or her manager being Laura Caliente. We always watching behind her, making sure that she does everything that she needs to do right. Oh, Mongolian chop there. These girls going back and forth inside the ring. Oh, tosses her back outside. These two girls go at it again. Misses that. Takes advantage. Hooks that neck and throws her with that suplex. Jazzy Moore came in as like a charging bull. Kim Jordan tosses her on the outside. Oh, that close on to the back of the neck. I don't know if you heard that, but the damage definitely done. These girls beat the fuck out of each other. I'm telling you, German suplex coming up. Oh, sets up again. Look at this. Right in the middle of the ring. Can do it. Referee, one, two, three. This one is over. Jazzy Moore came back in the ring at the last moment. Only she, I don't think Natty realized that she was right behind her. Cuts her off immediately. Takes her down to the right in the center of the ring with that fisherman suplex. And no one does it better. No fisherman suplex has been done better since Jazzy Moore does it the best. And I honestly believe that. There's a lot of girls who do the, do the fisherman suplex. And I give them credit, man. But Jazzy Moore does it well. Look at the speed on Natty at door here, though. From the start of this match. Trying things going for herself, and she did for the most part. Being the former number one contender for the Shinjuku Joshi Babel Open Weight Championship. And here you see Kim Jordan trying to pull it back to the middle of the ring to get something going. Realizing it wasn't enough, this match continued on. Right there, right in the middle of the ring. And this is just a signature point here. Right in the middle of the ring. Knew exactly where she wanted to be. And got herself the, th the three. And that's how you do it. That's how you do it. And Jazzy Moore could be a possible new number contender for the Shinjuku Joshi Bell Open Championship. Or the Shinjuku Joshi Bell Championship altogether. Either way, no matter what she does, she's going in with it with pride she's going in there with a plan and that plan was to win and that plan is to win every other match she goes into that being said then we got more action for you up next when we return here to Shinjuku Joshua Bell You talk about ladies just popping in here, man. I don't know what Tish and Ramirez had to do to get all these ladies signed on one show, but my goodness, Casey Maverick's gonna be a problem here for these ladies of Shinjuku. Lady, I truly feel it has potential to be world champion as due time goes on. I, I do believe that. She's small, yes. She's not the biggest. She's not the uh, best wrestler by any means. But she has time to grow. Just like every other lady here. I don't care how experienced you are, how unexperienced you are. You have you have the time, you have the chance. If you're here in Shinjuku, you get the opportunity to grow. I want to see this girl grow and become world champion. That's just me.
but Casey Maverick hasn't met this lady. Is she dressed up like Fuji under fire? What the? I, uh, you can't. You just some. Every time Yuri on makes her way down the ring, she just comes in to some with something just weird. Last week she, well not last week. The last time we seen her, she was dressed up as. A oh, fucking horse, a horse head, or is, I don't remember. It was been a while, but this girl is not your normal chick. She she's special, not in a bad way, or not in a good way either. Some would say, but she's explosive in that ring. She has a little mixture of high flying, and she knows how to attack your limbs as well. She knows how to play mind games with you. She knows how to get in and out of that ring, and she's quick. And she's definitely going to be a problem here for the ladies in Shinjuku, just as much as Casey Maverick will be. But now you have two of these ladies in action against each other. Casey Maverick, experience, goes towards the quickness and agility of Yoriyama. Question is, can Yoriyama see through those, uh, that, that face mask she has on right there? Already trying to go for some quick, and she did with that. Put it in Arana. Oof. This is up. Oh my gosh, Yoriyama quick as hell to get ourselves out of that. Lays down that strike. Yoriyama's no, Yoriyama's no joke, neither is Casey Maverick. If you take Casey Maverick off, I think we're going to take her off her feet for a minute. Oh my gosh! Usually shows for that cutter. When instead just threw her whole head right into her. That was pretty rough looking. Either way. Oh, forearm shot. Sorry, shots there. Kick to the mid section. Oh, hits the ground hard. That's her face. It's Yoriyama's face. Casey Maverick takes advantage by kicking around the midsection. Casey Maverick now drop kick to the back of the head. Yoriyama loves to have fun in this ring. And at the end of the day, if you're not having fun while you're here, if you're not having fun while you're here, if you're not here for competition, if you're not here to get better, if you're not here to do what you came here to do, then why the hell are you here? The, the question you must ask yourself, oh, as a professional wrestler, Sure, I'm not one. Neither was I a former professional wrestler. But I'll tell you what. When you see these ladies go to action. When you see the men of Crash Japan and Pure Intense Wrestling go to action. You know they have something planned. You know, they know every time they go in the ring, they got something up their sleeves. Oh! And whatever that may be, they help them. Or definitely is the plan. The plan is to help them. Oh, better themselves. Setting up for something big, it would seem. Yeah, Yama sets up with this. For oh, for... Electric chair drop. Yeah, I'm gonna dips under the ring. Dips under that 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 rope there. Yeah. Feeling it. I don't know what she's up to. And she was just playing her for the moment. I'm running now running in circles here. It's depending on the crowd. She need more. She need to do more than pander to the crowd to get something a win for herself. Oh, kick the midsection. Oh, forearm shot there. Cut that leg. Oh, that knee there from Casey. Oh, going for another hurricane runner, but no, gets cut off this time. Jeez. Casey not having that. Casey being the bigger of the two by just a, by a little bit. Use that size advantage to throw the picker back up as she went for that hurricane runner. That was pretty sick looking. Casey's shown that she has the experience advantage in this one. And will definitely use that to... Oh! Better her chances of winning this thing. Yoriyama now in trouble. Casey Maverick taunting her to get up. Question is... What is she, what is she up to? Whoa! Oh! Wolf Girl's thinking something. Kick to the... mid section there. Yoriyama in trouble here. Casey Maverick setting up for that... Submission hold. That bow and arrow. Mexican surfboard, some would even say. Oh! Lays right on top of her. Casey Maverick. No! Oh, those short legs. Couldn't get the full kick on that. Even though she, like I said, even though she's the taller of the two. Oh! She kicked her right in the face! That was ruthless. That was damn ruthless. Watch out! Oh! What the hell was that? I don't even know what the hell that was. The way Yorima's setting up. No, saw coming another knee there. Casey Merrick lays her out. Oh, Japanese arm drag. Beautiful as hell. 
from one side to the other. Pillar to post, whatever you want to call it. She laid it in. No suck coming. Monkey flip. Here you're going to have any of it. No, fall hits the ground hard. Yama in trouble. Yeriyama in trouble. Yeriyama in trouble here. Catches that foot. Close and takes her down. Another one there. Oh, form. That was she she flew into that. This elbow just laying, laying her out. That was fucking beautiful, man. Yama moving at mock speed here. That look at that arm. Catches her. Toss it to the corner. Oh, Yariyama's up too. Oh, comes back in. What the hell? Go! Oh! Catches her. Watch out. She's laying with that strike. She got all of it with that kick. Could have damn near laid Casey Maverick out. Could have damn near laid her out. But Casey's not done just it either. Look at this. Not dumb, not dumb, not dumb. You see, Yariyama, not dumb either. You saw her legs trying to roll towards that. Watch this. Amazing, blazing S speed. Blazing S speed there. Spitting heel kick. Form shot. Another form. That one throws Casey out. Casey's trying to get out of the way of this. Yariyama so damn quick. Jeez. All over the damn place is Yariyama. I don't know what her plans are. Watch out, ref. Say, like, oh, it looks like ready to fly. Oh, misses that. I don't know what she was trying to go for. Either way, bad spot. Oh, Casey not having it. He says, get her. Get out of my face. Takes her down. Oh, swats that away. Missed that kick. Close on again, takes her down. Another one there. Off the ropes here. Get a little corner spot going. Oh, four and a shot in the face. Bulldog takedown. Casey on her A game here. Yariyama just as much as on hers. Toss her to the corner. Bad place to be, I'll tell you what. Those, those short legs of Yariyama wasn't able to reach over. Oh, keep the midsection. Oh, those boot washes. Yariyama not having any of that. Oh, oh my gosh, just throws her whole caboose right across the chest. Yeah, went out with the not with the biggest one, but I knows how to use what she has. The hell she up to? Oh my gosh, look at that, that. Oh, just raking at that face. Watch out. Oh, misses that. Whatever she was going for, kick to the spine. Yariyama in trouble. Blow a quick one, one hit two. No. Going for the one, two, three, but didn't get enough of it. Not enough just yet. Drop kick to the back, the back of the head. Casey Maverick now. You can focus on going for something big. Now going for that submission hold again. The question is, why? That's my biggest question. Why are you going for this at this point? Go for the finish. You have this match in the bag. Finish it off. You did experience one in this one. You got to go for something different here. Yeah, I'm like just so damn good at getting out of it. Catches again. Oh, lays her out with that. Could be it right here. Maverick just may be out of this thing. Referee. One. Two. No. With those that show up in two. The crowd on their feet here for these two ladies. What is she up to? What the hell is Yuri on? She's walking her. She's walking her with that arm. That joint manipulation style that Yuriyama, only Yuriyama could bring. Here we jumps over right over. Casey Maverick. Maverick in a bad in a bad place, I'll tell you what. Ready to fly with Seam. Frog splash five star style. Tries to see if she can get a quick victory here with this one. Two. No, and again, Casey throws that shoulder over two. If you're Casey Maverick right now, you're gonna be thinking, what the hell do I gotta do next? This girl's throwing everything at me. Oh my goodness. Yuri Yama on her A game here, I'll tell you what. Kick to the midsection, throws her up. Oh, that could lay her out. That could lay the, the most, even the, the biggest of females out here. Two, three. And that's one's over. Take nothing away from either of these two ladies. Yuri Yama turned up to the, the, at the end of that one here for sure. Casey Marv just couldn't compete.
Look at this, just so damn quick. This girl did not slow down for a moment there. Look at that, a lateral press. And you go for lateral when you know you have the match in the bag. And she definitely got that one. She definitely knew she had that one after that one. That was a big time knee strike. Yeah, Yama's so damn weird, man. This girl is an awkward individual here for sure, but she can wrestle her ass off. And we've got some more action for you when we return here to Shinjuku with Joshua Bell. What about the Shinjuku Joshua Bell? The boss. Celine Casting makes her down in the ring. Lady, this little slow lady is gorgeous, but she needs to get a win here. Gorgeousness only gets you so far. Popularity only gets you so far. Great in-ring skill only gets you so far. But the win is what matters at the end of the day. As much as we joke around and, and love to say how, you know, you know, this loss didn't kill you. This loss only makes you stronger. Yes, that is true. This, that, yes, that is true, and that's not a joke. But Celine Cassidy needs a big time victory here. Starting her career. Making her starting big, start, making her career really big time in Divas last year, and now it's grown, to become better, become her own person, find out, find out what she wants to do, find out who she wants to be, and she's still growing. When it's all said and done, but the boss is here tonight, the little boss that she is. Talk about once in a while you hear about how much Shinjuku Joshua Bell means to these ladies, and this it means a lot to every last one of these ladies that step in here. Believe it or not, even if they don't seem like it all the time, and Brittany may not seem like that all the time either. But Brittany is the personification of what we want in a professional wrestler, someone who keeps trying and trying and trying, no matter what happens, no matter goes no matter what gets thrown in front of them. Brittany is that lady. That young lady, who just like Celine Kastner is growing and growing every time that she steps in the ring. Finds new ways to innovate. Finds new ways to get better. Just like Celine Kastner. Just like Rebecca Tracy. Just like Ashley. They step in this ring with a purpose and a plan. But Brittany, like I said, is that personification of what we want in a professional wrestler. Let's see what these two girls can do. Let's get this thing on the road. Celine Kastner, Brittany. Let's do it. So the, the hesitation there on Brittany. On Brittany there, you saw that. And Celine Kastner just moved right in. Brittany being the the stronger of the two here for sure. All right back in the clinch. These two are again. These two ladies right here are fine with each other. They have no, they have no hatred against each other by any means. I see a little more dirty play being done here by Celine Kastner though at the end of the day. Both these girls can wrestle their fucking asses off. Tell you what. And look at this back and forth here. I like to see. This is like to see. This is like to see. I said back and two. Oh, smacking that arm there. Back elbow. Kick to the leg. Shot to the chest. Kick to the face. These girls are back and forth, and this is insane. These two girls. These two girls are in, are something else. I'll tell you what. Oh, back elbow there to the head. Tosses over the rope. Trying to get back in the ring. There's nothing but competition between these two, I'll tell you what. Like I said, no hatred. No hatred by any means. Let's see what these girls can do. Ducks down over still nicely. And Brittany's so close. It's just so close every time she gets to you. You don't think, how the hell are you get so close to me and then duck down so quickly? And then you gotta give it to Celine to, to be able to get out of the way of that as well. I mean, these girls are just flying all over the place. Oh, jeez. Sling Kastner found a hard time thing. Oh, get something going, but I may have spoken way too soon. Bombardment right there. Forearm shot laser and dazes her on those ropes there. And what the hell is Sling Kastner up to? Look at this. No! Oh! Guillotine choked there on that rope. Now going to the legs of Brittany. If Brittany can't get up and stand on those legs, Brittany can't get up and stand on those legs, she can't hit that belly the belly suplex she likes to go for. Pulling back to the middle of the ring. Caster now. 
Oh, we'll stun around the midsection. And you're trying to get herself back up and into it without a cut. Oh, forearm shot there. Forearm shot again. Oh, back elbow. That was gross looking. Tell you what. Oh, slides right across the knee. Of Celine Kastner. We talked about. Uh, we talked about Celine going for those legs a, a moment ago, and I see Brittany going for those legs as well. She can't go to the top rope for that frog splash, or put any pressure on on the neck of Brittany with the damn cross face. She can't push back with her legs because they're too, in too much pain. You can't hold that lock if you can't. Keep your legs in, in, a, in a right balance. That's just the truth of the matter. These girls know how to work each other down here for sure, and that's exactly what they're doing. And I'm actually this is what you gotta do, especially when you know each other so well. You gotta figure out what works and what doesn't. And try to find new things that may help you get an advantage over your opponent. Find their weakness. Sling Castle trying to figure out that weakness right now. Get to the midsection, look at this. Straight jacket, neck breaker. She got all of that. Two, no, those that show a little bit too. If you're casting right now, you're gonna be thinking, what do I gotta do next? What am I gonna do next? Go for the cross face or go to the top row for a frog splash. Something's gotta work though. Something's definitely gotta work. Kick to the spine. And well, that didn't bite you know, what you if you're right now, if you're a caster, what you need to do. Oh, is work on Brittany as much as you possibly can. Brittany, no dummy rolls on the outside. Drop kicks so out of the way there. Thought she can get one on Celine. Celine proves her wrong. This, oh. Telling her to get up. Telling her to get up. Asking her. He said to get up. Look at this. Going to summon something big. But no sun coming. German suplex in the outside. Celine showing off as if she's won this match. But this one's not over just yet. If you're going to be the boss, you got to get, you got you to gotta show, you show your opponent. Oh. Over the chop and got cut off. They were afraid of six. These girls are gonna get back in the ring. They're afraid of seven. Celine. Taking Brittany back into the ring. Celine just may have this match in the bag. I'll tell you what. Oh, stump around there on the face. Drop kick to the spine there. That was gross. Tongue is just she's won this match. This one's not over just yet. But Brittany not having a good time. Going to the top, it would seem. You see, Brittany going closer to her opponent here. Knowing that she's that she's not gonna try and go that close to make the distance. Oh! And distance was net with that. Ends the girl kicked right to the side of the side of the head. Brittany, exactly where she wants to be right now. Oh! For the moment I thought. For the moment, we all thought, look at this. Huda can run in there with a pin. Look at the way she has her. Pressed right in. Two. Oh, those that showed up right before the two. Kastner has her where she wants her. Brittany in trouble here. Brittany in trouble here. Look at this. Neck breaker. Swing neck breaker at that. Instead of going for what she was going to go for, which I think she's going for that cross face. She said, fuck it, I'm going for something different. Going for something totally different. Going for that frog splash. Misses all of that. Brittany now. Saw Ko saw coming to Celine, though. Saw coming to Celine, though. Celine takes advantage of set opportunities right in front of her. Go for that pin again. Is it enough? One. No. If you're Celine, you go, go for another pin. Try it again. Right now is the opportunity to do that. Set up for something totally different and totally more painful. But Brittany saw it coming a mile away. Oh! Sets up. Look at this. I think she thinks I think she thought that Celine was out of it. But the rope break being the only thing that may have saved Brittany there at that moment. Somewhere on the back there. Celine says, fuck it, I'm going to the top again. This time. Nowhere to go for Brittany. If you're Brittany, you gotta watch out. Going for that frog splash. It would seem she got all. Oh, no, she didn't get any of it. She didn't get any of it at all. She didn't get any of it at all. 
reverses it, makes it takes makes the break. Oh, misses that with those double knees. Misses that. Brittany takes advantage now. Brittany back into it. Sets up. Exploder coming up. Exploder coming up. She gets all of that. My goodness. Brittany having a damn good time right now. Question is, can she do it? Can she finish? Look at this. Belly to belly. Suplex. She gets all of it. Is it enough? Referee. One. Two. No one throws that shoulder, but dude. This is a seven minute event. If there was one up next, we got some more action for you. Adrian Cole and Daniel Taylor up next. That's going to be a fucking huge one. But right now, Brittany is just trying to land those shots. I don't think she can. So much damage she's taken. It's hard to even line up your shots when you're, you're damn near seeing double. Oh, shot right there to the chest. My gosh. Brittany getting clobbered into that corner. Sling caster. Going for something big, it would seem. Look at this. Oh! Hits the ground hard as hell. Caster now needs to take advantage. Caster now needs to take advantage of the opportunities in front of her. Kick to the spine of Brittany. Hooks the leg. Is it enough? Referee. One. No, and again, Brittany throws a show up at damn near two. Before even two. Imagine that neck now. Celine, working on that neck. Brittany is in trouble here. And she's been in trouble a lot of this match. As much as she's wanted to fight back here, just hasn't found what it what, what works for her just yet. It's that growing, that's that growing, that's that growing fact that I was talking about. These girls just don't know everything just yet. And still trying to figure out what works and what doesn't. Saw that coming a mile away. Oh, jabs right in the face. Did you hear that? Brittany now. Toss on the outside. Brittany's damn good. Brittany's damn good and so is Celine. And I can't wait to see these girls really explode here in Shinjuku. Can't see what these girls do in Shinjuku. Oh, my goodness, no. The crowd right in front saw all of that. That barricade shook, ladies and gentlemen. How's it back into the ring? What else is there left? What else is there left? He saw Brittany even trying to think, what the hell do I have to do next? Is this, is this, should I try? I go for the pin to throw that shoulder bit too. And if you're Brittany, you're going to be thinking, what the hell is next? Oh! Barely got her, but got more than enough to hit the forehead of Celine Kastner. Kastner may be out of that thing. That may have just dazed her there. That's just maybe all she needs at this point. Brittany now has her in the position she wants. Kicked in the midsection. Another shot there. Saw it coming. Caster cracks her right across the face with that shot. Sets up. Snap suplex. Floats right over. Very lateral-esque press. Very lackadaisical press here. But may have no. Doesn't have any of it just yet. Kick to the back there. Castor trying again. No, saw it coming. Forearm shot. Castor saw it coming. Oh! Saw it coming to Castor now. Oh, kick to the leg. Watch this. Oh my gosh, that arm just taking damage here. Kick to the midsection one more time. Kick to the midsection one more time like this. Straight jacket. Neck breaker. She got all of it. Hooks that long, the long legs of Brittany Backlund. Brittany throws that shoulder at Damon one more time. Kick to the mid section. Celine, you gotta do something different. You gotta go for something different. Saw it coming a mile away. Did Brittany though? Oh, shot right there. Another one there. Kick saw. Oh, knee right there to the face. Places it right in. Head scissors take down. Beautifully done. Celine. He's going to go to the top of that frost flash again. Or something of that sort. Something's got to work. Something's got to work. Arm drag re reversal there. Saw that coming. Saw that coming with a knee. No. Oh. Saw it coming again. Look at this. Belly to belly. Suplex can do it right here. This is a cast of to be a miracle. Two. Three. This one is over. Brittany. Stays in this thing somehow, some way, and gets us off the victory. That was big. That was big.
We seen Celine go for that again and again to see what works and what didn't. And it, when it was all said and done, it came down to it just being the biggest move to finish. And as many times she wanted to land this thing, Brittany just kept throwing that, that shoulder up. That fight, that drive to stay in it, that frog splash was beautiful, but didn't land. Hit the belly to belly one time, didn't get enough. The second time got the three, and that's all she needed when it was all said and done. What a night, what a night, what a night, what a night it has been. And we got some more action for you. Adrian Cole up next, takes on Danielle Taylor. I'll talk more about that when we get to it. In our main event, first in Juku, Joshua Bell. Welcome back to Shinjuku Joshua Bell. That's our main event. Adrian Cole. So this is one up, and we haven't seen Adrian Cole in a while either. I mean, Cole hasn't been on this show, and this is her debut, just as much as Daniel Taylor makes her debut here as well. Adrian Cole, one of the last Diva champions. Diva's champions, right? Defeating who now is our co-general manager here. He practically runs the show while Kira Ramirez is not around. Elaine. She defeated Elaine to get that. That's some pretty cool crap right there. That that's a, that's some pretty big shoes to fill in a way. Almost passing the torch down in a way, but Adrian Cole since then it's kind of fell off. She wants to get a win here tonight, she's down to bring her A game. That's her damn show. Because she takes on this lady here. Danielle Taylor. And Danielle Taylor is the longest reigning Divas television champion of all time. Of all time. That's pretty fucking big. When you think about it. Among the Divas television champions we've had, she's had the longest run. Maybe not the most reigns, but the longest run. That's pretty fucking huge. Not only that, it was her first run. Daniel Taylor has been around Divas for a long time, and it was I think it was a smart idea for Tiffany Ramirez to call these two ladies back. Dan Taylor also a former Pure Test Wrestling Women's Champion. Wasn't super didn't last long. But hey, championship championship. That's something you can add to your resume as a professional wrestler. That's pretty big, in my opinion. These two girls get it off. Adrian Cole and back down in the corner here. Works with a slightly much sorry, not slightly much bigger Daniel Taylor over. Daniel Taylor's so damn just quick, effective, and as beautiful as she is, she's deadly. Same can be said for Adrian Cole. Adrian Cole's thick as hell. Knows how to throw her body around though, and that's the that's the difference between her and Daniel Taylor. Daniel Taylor's not going to throw her body around. Adrian Cole will toss her body out of harm's way to make sure she gets things going. She's a high flyer here for sure. Look at this. Oh! Kicked to the face there. Jeez. Oh, went for that leg. Saw it coming. Oh! Oh, kick right there. You saw her trying to get up. And that's it. That's that style that Adrian Cole brings in. That very, uh, American style. Mixed with a little bit of, a. Uh, Japanese flair as well. Already has it on the top. Oh my gosh, I almost got her, her leg caught in the tree well, but luckily didn't. Kick to the midsection. Form there, and it seems like Adrian Cole has everything going her way with Seam in the start of this match here. To the top she goes. This, oh, Moonsault lands her knees right across the back of the head. Can damn near do it. Daniel Taylor finds a way out of that one. Huda can run a beautifully done. Turn around the chest here. Another stomp. That one stomps on the face. Agent Cole flips over. Drop kick right to the side of the head. That was smart on Daniel Taylor's part to keep the pressure going. The pressure definitely done to the back and the top of the head of Adrian Cole. And now Daniel Taylor going to the second rope here. Can she make the distance though? Cole slowly getting up. I think Adrian Cole 
in trouble here. Drew Rob kick to the side of the top of the chest. They're going to feel for it. That's exactly where she got it. This match is not going to be nice. That's like I said, match is not going to be nice by the slightest. One of these two ever met in the ring. Definitely be something big. Definitely big time win here. Could be done here for Dan Taylor. No. Adrian Cole not dumb either. No one's going to kick out. Kicked out. Especially in early in this match. Give her time, some time, time herself some time to rest her early as well. Distance herself off those ropes. That was smart on her part. Gets away from it. Watch out! Oh, and that's how you make the distance right there. That's how you talk. You talk about making distance. Daniel Taylor just made it with the with, with the ground. Oh, kicks her away. What the hell's the call up to? Drop kick of her own from the second. Those are down with authority. Could be it. One, two, and two. Cole's quick as hell. I tell you what. That's why she. Oh, misses that. No oh, back elbow there. Sorry, back, the elbow to the back of the neck. Goes back into the ring. Oh gosh. No, oh, in the middle of the ring here. Daniel, not stupid. Goes right for the pin. Hook of the leg. Like I said, smart, almost veteran-like attitude. On to stay on her opponent, saying, "Hey." I'm going to pin you. I'm going to hook your leg. I'm not going to try and go for a lot of press. I'm going to hook the leg. And again, getting that little bit of that little bit of time. Getting a little bit of distance. Cole knows what she's doing. Keep herself in this thing. Oh, jeez. So I think she was trying to line up for that kick. Daniel Taylor still too fresh and saw it coming. Oh. What's she going for? Tornado DDT. And then, oh, gosh. Hits the, middle, hits the ground hard as hell. Daniel Taylor setting up. Throwing all that long leg booty. Throwing it all, throwing it all back, sets up. Beautiful moonsault there. I forget himself a lot of that. Caesar, you, you're a your guy referee, you gotta be loving that. Here for sure, you gotta be, if you're a guy, you gotta be loving that for sure as all, as all hell. Get the way, look at this. Oh, kick to the midsection. Another one of those hook leg kicks there. And Cole's just so damn quick, it's, it's hard. How do you catch someone who can do things like this to you? Uh oh. Oh, smashes that leg up. Russian Light Sweep coming up. Oh, hits the ground hard. Hooks the leg. Is it enough? One, two. No. That's the distance. That's the separation being made. That's what you got to do. Tope Atomic. No. This. Oh. <laughs> And if I think she was, was gauging, hoping that Daniel Taylor would be uh, on the ground there, and she just probably sat on the top of her fucking head. That was pretty rough looking here for sure. What is she up to? What is she up to? What is she up to? <laughs> She's just out of control. Adrian Cole bringing it here. Look at this. Oh. Adrian Cole flying at mock speed. Oh my goodness. That's pretty cool. Adrian Cole to be able to do things like that. Look at now setting up. Kick to the midsection. and another one there. And those stick legs hitting you like that. That's going to do some damage to you. And a third one to boot. And that one was especially a boot to the side of the head of Adrian of Daniel Taylor here. Daniel Taylor in trouble. Saw it coming a mile away. Turns it back with a puncher of her own. Shot right there to the chest. Says, come on, let's go. Bring it. And she's definitely bringing it to her. Calf kick right there to the chest. Don't challenge Daniel Taylor. Let's know you have a plan. Knee to this midsection. Taylor said no for something. Adrian Cole says no. Has none of it. Has damn near none of it. Have none of that either. This match is insane. I'm telling you what. I'll tell you what. Look at this. Samoan drop. Send that booty pop moves up one more time. I'm not the most effective move in her arsenal. But yeah, I tell you what, it definitely does its damage. That moves definitely does its damage. It could take it, definitely take her out here. No. Adrian Cole proves me exactly what I was saying. Kicked out early simply because a moves out like that. It's especially taking so much time to to rest and you know pander to the crowd that doesn't get you anywhere. That neck. Oh! 
one thing you can't say, one thing you cannot say about Daniel Taylor is that she doesn't have a plan. Hold to the top for whatever she, I don't know what the hell she's going for, but I don't think she realized that she's right there. Oh gosh. Cole has her back exactly where she wants her. No, saw coming them all the way. Saw coming them all the way. Oh, saw come, oh my gosh. Caught her out of midair. That's pretty damn impressive for a girl of Adrian Cole's size. Adrian Cole now feeling it here for sure. This spins it back. Like, this girl is just insanely good. And it, 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 you, how do you slow someone down who can do things like this to you? Kick to the midsection again. Another one there. Another one there. And laying it down with that foot right across the head. Adrian Cole is a damn beast in, this, in the world of wrestling here. If you're anyone, you got to watch over this girl. This sets up. Cut her. She got all of it. But can't make the distance. This is what we're talking about right here. Put so much time into trying to get herself up and into this thing. And she just may not be able to make the cover. Make the distance here for sure. Two. No. She let go. I, I think she wants to do more. I think she wants to prove that she can do more. That's going to definitely get you in trouble though, kid. Forearm shot there. From pillar to post, watch out! Oh, like I said, oh my goodness, she crumbled hard on the outside. Daniel Taylor is no dummy. You give her a second, she will take a mile. That's how Daniel Taylor rolls. That's how she's been the lo she's been the longest reigning Divas Television Champion of all time. That's how you do things like that when you're smart and you think that you're gonna be underestimated. You get underestimated. Daniel Taylor is always underestimated for thinking that hey, she's more glamour than anything else. And I guess they're in trouble with a lot of the, her opponents. Her opponents get in a lot of trouble with that. And that could definitely take out Adrian Cole here. Referee, one, two. No, Adrian Cole kicked out of two. Daniel Taylor going for that moonsault. She has to go for it. Could be the end all. Could there be a end all here? Could be it. Or could be it right here. Look at this. She got all of it. Adrian Cole, come on, kid. One. No. Daniel Taylor going to the top again, but this time too damn tired to make the to make that distance. Like I said, when you're trying to make distance, you gotta think about what you what your next plan is gonna be. Telling her to get up. Question is, can she get up? And can she get anything going? Oh! <laughs> no damn way! No damn way! Turns her over. Is it enough? Referee. Two. No. And Daniel Taylor showing that resiliency that's been keeping her the Divas Television champion for damn near a year that's that resiliency right there look at this one leg being caught up with that exploding suplex daniel taylor now in trouble kick to the midsection goes for that sliced bread that dice bread i mean look at this oh what the hell are these girls up to how do these girls keep doing what they do day in and day out get around the face of daniel taylor here Here we go. Tosses the rock. Sets up for something. I don't know what her plans are. Oh, see the sent on. Ducks right through. Look at this bulldog coming up. She got all of that. That was amazing. I don't know what Adrian Cole wants to do next, but I'll tell you what's gonna be good. Whatever she's thinking, whatever she's planning, it can't be good. It can't be good for her opponent. And her opponent doing Dan Taylor right now. As good as she is, maybe in a lot of trouble here as time goes on. Oh! Oh, that DDT lays her out. Daniel Taylor had a damn fit on the outside here. Oh, that kick right there to the leg. This, oh, jeez, what a fucking shot that it was. Adrian Cole, reversed that by Daniel Taylor though. Chopped to the chest there. What's next for these ladies, man? Goes for another one of those blue pop moonsaults. Can she get it all? Can she throw it all back? Can she throw it in a circle? And can she get her a circle, a, a circle of fucking three count here? Watch this, Daniel Taylor. Oh, what a center right across the chest, using all that, using all that pressure right across the chest. Now the question is, can she do it? Can she? Oh, get us off the win here. 
if, the, if that jumping cutter didn't take her out, what a will. What a will. Misses all of that. Cassell the distance. Trying to make the distance. She got all of that one right there. Could be it. Has to be it. One, two, throw. Oh my, this resiliency I'm talking about. Resiliency right there that I'm talking about. How do you take out Daniel Taylor? That's the thing. You gotta give this girl credit, man. That's amazing. Not many ladies could kick out of all the things that's been thrown at her. And Daniel's still fighting this thing. Japanese arm drag there. Look at this. Oh, and dives right into her. And Daniel's still getting up. Days is all hell, but still getting up. How these girls fighting is beyond me. Make that springboard. What a Kenrana from the second. Sorry for the top from the top rope there for that springboard. Cole go flying to the top. What's her next step? What is her next step? We'll find out in moments here. Look at this. Moon salt. Jeez. Takes her by the hair. When you're a lady in the, in the world of wrestling, that's what you gotta do. You gotta know what works and what doesn't. Adrian Cole knows what works and what doesn't work. Oh, and misses all of that. I think she was trying to go for something big. Misses that, misses that. Oh, didn't miss it that time, though. Didn't miss it that time. Adrian Cole flying. Look at this. Who can run at this girl? Is not slowing down since the start. Referee saying, hold on. I gotta check on that head of Daniel Taylor. Giving her the time, and like I said, I don't know if you, you can ever tell in, in the in this in the world of wrestling if your opponents are, if you're underestimating your opponent, right? If they're gonna play, if they're playing dirty with you or not, because Dan Taylor's still fighting back, so something's definitely gotta give. Look at this! Go! Oh, fuck! Flat liner there. Could definitely lay out Adrian Cole here. Hooks the leg. One. No. One is what you got. If Daniel can kick out a three, and damn it before a three, then Adrian Cole can kick out a damn near one. It's like these girls are trying to prove something to each other here. I mean, that's exactly what you want, but these girls are gonna damn near kill each other trying to do so. Adrian Cole in trouble here. Misses that elbow. Oh, clobbered that elbow right across the face. Ducks up, ducks down, ducks down. She got all of it. I don't know what the hell she calls it, but she may have enough of it. Referee, two, throw. No, 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 no. Adrian Cole let go. Adrian Cole let go. Adrian Cole let go. Adrian Cole let go. Oh, no, a cutter right there. Referee, and she lets go again. Adrian Cole, what do you got to prove? What else do you got to prove? Finish this match, finish this match, finish this match. She's going for another cutter there again. Hooks the leg isn't enough again. Referee has to get right back down. One, two, three. This one is over. Cole, the ball, two cutters at right there at the end, making sure that the, that the win was definite here. This match was insane. These girls went back and forth. Daniel Taylor still has much more to prove, but so does Adrian Cole. A win here tonight was big for both these ladies. Either way, no matter who won it, it was all said and done. What a well-needed victory for Adrian Cole and a learning, just a little bit more learning here for Daniel Taylor. And I want Daniel here to come back with a, with a plan, with a, a fresh new plan and a new way to come into this match, a new way to come into every match she goes into after this. And the same goes for Adrian Cole. Adrian Cole so damn hyper, so damn all over the damn place. I don't think she can keep up with what she wants to even do in this ring. That all being said and done, we have so much more coming for you guys. So much more coming for you guys in the future. I, I mean, Shinjuku's blowing up all the damn time. It does not get any better than this. That being said and done, as always, guys, come like, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys when I see you guys. This has been amazing. This has been damn near amazing. And I love doing what I do. If you guys enjoy it, like I said before, come like, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Shinjuku Joshi Bell.